Wednesday ass people. Good morning. It is Monday morning and obviously I'm at the airport. I am headed to Bali. And I'm so excited. But before I get to Bali, I have a pit stop at the Singapore airport, which I'm even more excited about because that has been a place on my bucket list for a while now. This airport is, it's just, I'll have to show y'all. You'll have to see it when I get there. But yes, um, Alekra is staying here in Bangkok. So we are actually parting ways. I'm gonna miss her. She's been such a great travel companion. But now we're back to the solo double travel life. So let's do this, vamanos. All right, we are in Singapore. The airport is so chill. At least it's mad chill on this side of the airport. I just got my luggage. Um, I'm about to rearrange some things because I know I'm gonna have to carry this around for a little bit. And yeah, then I'm gonna go off and explore. But so far, so good. The plane ride in, I didn't really get much sleep, so I need to find some coffee. <laughs> Definitely running off of no energy today. Um, but yeah, the plane ride in was fine. It wasn't too bad, maybe like two or three hours. I don't know, I was in and out of sleep. Um, and then when I got here, I had to fill out a, a card, an immigration card. Um, so if you are coming to the Singapore airport, whether you are coming through for a transit stop or you're coming to actually stay in the country, you have to fill out their immigration card. Just a heads up. Let me rearrange my stuff and check out this airport. So finally got all my luggage situated, made it through customs. And I'm like, I have no idea where to go. Where to begin? Okay, so I kind of figured out where I'm going. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not confused in here. But we're going to get on Scott Train to T1 and see what is in T1. Hopefully there's food. <laughs> I keep seeing this jewel and I don't know what it is. So let's go find out. Their seating area, and I got good views. I guess we can call this brunch. It's like I'm going on one o'clock, but um, yeah, got kimchi, kimchi fried rice, uh, cabbage salad, chicken, and it came with an iced tea. So this combo meal all together was around 12 USD. All right, food is finished. Belly is full. Um, it was okay. It wasn't anything I would necessarily come back to get again, but it did the job. I'm satisfied. And I kind of want a dessert now. Um, and I still want to explore a little bit more of the airport. But I am battling 
being exhausted. So I think I'm gonna look for a cafe, maybe find like a sweet treat and some coffee, kind of pick me back up and then see how far I want to lug my suitcase around this airport to see some more of it, so. One thing you can definitely do in this airport <laughs> is shop. Oh my goodness. I mean, everything. They have everything. Also, a IMAX theater in this airport, from my understanding, is 24 hours. How cool is that? Just the name of this place makes me want to get a pastry. also realizing I came downstairs so I ate upstairs on the floor above this one and I'm on the ground floor this is where they have the food market and everything it's very much giving food market vibes um, like in Thailand so things are like you can get little snackable things that are pretty affordable like maybe between like five or six dollars um, and eat for cheap down here and eat at a lot of different places so I kind of ate at the bougie place didn't realize I was just hungry and picked a place to eat upstairs but down here, there's more affordable options and it's a wide variety of different things to eat. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try the cinnamon roll and see if it tastes as good as it looks. Okay, it's good. It's not as like gooey, gooey moist in the center as I wanted it to be. They're definitely not top instead of on. <laughs> but like overall, it's pretty good. Give it a 4.2. Not too bad. I mean, espresso is espresso. I don't drink it for the flavor or the taste, just to wake up. Does this ever stop being amazing? Okay, so it seems like this ground floor is basically just food, some more shopping, and of course, cool views of the little waterfall. This is a whole grocery store. I saw one of these back in Bangkok. I was like, what? They have a grocery store in here? <laughs> That's cool. Back to the second floor. This is where I started. Again, more just shopping and restaurants. I'm not realizing they do have a place to store your baggage. But since I'm only here for a few more hours, I'll just continue to lug it around. At this point, it just won't really make a difference. I'm just here for a few more hours. Though majority of my time was spent gazing at the waterfall, there are a wide variety of other things to see and do at the Changi Airport. It's known as one of the best places to eat, shop, and relax and it was named best airport in the world in 2023. Inside, you can find more than 300 stores from boutique to big name brands, a rooftop pool and bar, a gym with showers, a butterfly garden and other greenery and wildlife, a rock climbing wall, snooze lounges and nap rooms, more than 100 bars and restaurants, a local street food market, a 24 seven movie theater, art collections and exhibitions, a monorail, a canopy skywalk, a hedge maze, transit hotels, and an underground carnival with slides, monkey bridges, and trampolines. Seriously, this airport is top notch. That water is so 
waterfall did not disappoint. Now to see what else is in this airport. I have about another hour or two, maybe. dedicated to chocolate and we're going up again it really is just like a mall in here <laughs> it's a mall and an airport installation art everywhere seriously it's getting over here too finally found the good lighting with the waterfall yes this is the Instagramable spot up here <laughs> Yeah, I've lost track what floor I'm on. It's maybe four or five. <laughs> but I think there's one more after this one. More shopping, more food. I headed up to the top and final floor, finally. up here like this looks like the skywalk where they have like a canopy park this way there's also a maze you can do these but they're all ticketed attractions so buy a ticket into this section so yeah you need a ticket for all those things if you want to cross the little skywalk if you want to go through the maze there really is so much to do um but i'm not trying to miss this flight so <laughs> i'm gonna make my way back downstairs figure out where my terminal is and yeah but this airport is so cool it's like top rated highest rated or like has a bunch of awards and i can see why it's an amazing airport shuffling my bag I travel with this carry-on bag the stuffle that I can fold and put in my suitcase this poor child <laughs> poor baby. Um, so right now my bag is overweight no shocker as a digital nomad this is my whole life in a suitcase so I'm about 10 pounds over <laughs> or 10 kg over the weight limit is 23 but she said she'll let me do up to 25 so what I do is just take out a few packing cubes put it in here and then I'm able to weigh it to get it to five pounds in this case and then zip it back up and check my bag. Okay. So 3.8. Workout clothes in there. A 5.7. Overachiever. Ow ow. <laughs> okay. All checked in. 
that's always the most nerve-wracking part for me because I know I'll be overweight and it's a matter of like how nice the flight attendants will be to let me go over the limit a little bit or not and how much I have to rearrange so now I just gotta get through the security and get checked in for this flight the express that was kicking in <laughs> so I just went through security and immigration in like less than two minutes they are so efficient here if I would have known it was gonna be that easy I wouldn't have rushed to get here to check in for my flight Deja vu. All right, so after a crazy turn of wild events, it is Sunday, March 17th, and I am back in the Changi Airport. <laughs> I am back in Singapore. I was on my way to, well, I'm not gonna tell you guys where I'm going, you have to subscribe and find out, but I was on my way to my next destination, and I had a layover here on the way back for just an hour, but my initial flight got delayed and they have no more flights out tonight so i got put into a hotel for the night and i'm here collecting my bags so that i can head to that hotel to be honest i'm tired it has been a long day but i'm trying to make the most out of the situation there's actually um, a place here in singapore that i wanted to visit but it's outside of the airport so now that i will be here for the night i'll get to visit it so i will check in with you guys later once i get settled in I made it to the hotel. This surpassed any expectations that I didn't even have. Oh my gosh, this is actually really nice. And I was so annoyed because they were just so nonchalant about it. Like, yep, you missed your flight. You'll be on one tomorrow. And I'm like, are you even gonna look at other flight options? They're like, yeah, no. I am not upset about this at all. I mean, this is a nice place to stay. And checkout isn't until noon tomorrow. So my flight tomorrow is at two. That's the time it was supposed to be today. At least at 2.45, check-in is at two. This is cute, <laughs> look at your lap. <laughs> what? Yeah, so my flight is tomorrow at least at 2.45, which is the time I'm supposed to leave today, but we didn't get here until well after three something, four something. I don't even know, I was half awake. So yeah, this is where I'll be for tonight. There is a exhibit here in Singapore that I want to go see, so I'm gonna go check that out later tonight. Um, they also gave me a voucher for dinner tonight, which that had me blown too. They gave me $30 to have food tonight. I was like, okay. If y'all watched my vlog when I went back to the US, the same thing happened to me in Miami. And they put me up in this really raggedy hotel for the night and like the food, it was barely edible. It was a barely edible meal. This, I was able to walk to this. It's just, I was in terminal one. I took the sky train, got to terminal three. It looks like this. Oh my goodness. Like I actually feel like I'll be comfortable here tonight. The other place, I didn't even want to sleep in the bed. Like it was so gross. Life in the States is so much different. The quality of things is just night and day. Anywho, enough rambling. Obviously, I'm content with my humble abode for tonight. I'm going to shower. I'm going to get some food and go check out to see what I can see while I'm here in Singapore for 24 hours. <laughs> Dinner time at this restaurant, crab ravioli. I made it out here, but I missed the light show. It's only from 7.45 to 8.45. Google Maps said it was open till 2 a.m. Google Maps will have you out here looking absolutely crazy, man. I'm so sad. 
Well, I got to see the trees, I just didn't get to see them late. <laughs>